No sé lo que estoy buscando Pero guapa eres lo que yo necesito What's up YouTube, it's your boy Fly JP and I'm back with another video Now in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you five rules of airline pilots that you can use inside of your life to improve yourself So without further ado, let's get into it Fly JP forever Number one, always fly the aircraft first. As a pilot, you must always be flying the airplane. You must not be worrying about things that are outside of your control, that are outside the aircraft when things are happening. You have to focus on what you can control directly and not on things that you can focus on moments later, okay? So you will not be able to solve any problems if you're always thinking about things that are outside of your control, that are outside of the aircraft, and you will just create problems for yourself. For, let's say, for example, you take off from an airfield right now and you have an engine failure, right? You do not just let go of all the controls and start applying the engine failure procedure. You do not do that. You keep control of the aircraft, you keep flying it, and you make sure you have a straight and level trajectory before you start worrying about the checklist and securing the engine and maybe start thinking about returning to the airfield, okay? Now, in life, how can you apply that? You can apply that in life because it is important for you as an individual to focus on yourself and your goals mainly first before you start locking onto things about other people and maybe about other things that are not your priority at this moment. You need to focus on the task at hand before moving to another one, okay? Doing everything at once or focusing on others instead of yourself a lot of times will lead you to doing a lot of below average projects and basically you will not be able to pour from an empty cup. That's something you need to remember. It will lead you to having a lot of mediocre endeavors and just not being able to invest fully in yourself. Number two. Aviate, navigate, communicate. Aviate, navigate, communicate is about prioritizing, okay? A pilot should always have his priorities straight when dealing with a problem or in whichever predicament he's in to be able to get himself to find a solution and be able to move on with what's going on. So fly, like we said, first. Second, navigate, and the least priority is communicating. The reason for that is because as a pilot, it is important to be able to start dealing with your immediate problem by yourself before starting to involve people that are on the ground and do not necessarily know what is going on inside the cockpit and who can only help you based on information that they have which might not convey the complete picture okay they can't fix your problem for you basically when straight level flight is achieved and navigation updated then and only then can you start worrying about talking to atc and explaining your problems to these people that are not with you at the moment now in life how do you implement that in life it is important to realize that no one can deal with your problems for you Okay, you should always take action and be proactive in solving your own problems as other people have their own life and their own problems to attend to and to deal with. Frankly, most people don't even care about your problems. They might be empathetic towards you, but you have to be the first one to be taking action to be solving these problems first. Now, to reiterate what I'm trying to say is this, you must always prioritize your own judgments and your own actions towards your own well-being and when that problem is underway of being treated, then you can start asking people for advice and implementing them if that advice is something that you think has value for your own goals. Now, as you've probably heard before, in case of depressurization in the cabin, you always have to be wearing your mask first before starting to think about helping others. This is something that applies to passengers, but also applies to the pilots. And the reason for this is if you do not receive oxygen for yourself, you cannot help others because you will not have the resources to be able to have the energy to help these other people. So think in that way in life as well. Always have the energy for yourself. Always do things for yourself first and when and only when you feel good about yourself and the things that you need to deal with, you can start helping out. Obviously, there are a few exceptions to this, but as long as you get what I'm saying, I won't be delving into that any further. Number three, takeoff is optional, landing is mandatory. Now, this is a quote I'm gonna start with. It is better to be on the ground wishing you were up there than being up there wishing you were on the ground. Let me reiterate the normal words. What this means as a pilot is that you should always have everything prepared before making the decision to depart. 
A pilot must check. A pilot must check the technical status of his aircraft. He must check the no times. He must check the weather en route at the departure aerodrome, at the arrival aerodrome, at the alternate aerodrome. And when all of that is done, he also needs to double check the ATC flight plan and see if it is congruent with the operational flight plan. When all of these parameters are checked, then and only then can the captain make the decision to leave when he wants to leave or wait it out or call maintenance if any action needs to be performed on the aircraft. Okay, uh, takeoff is optional, like I said, but once the decision to take off has been made, no matter what happens, one way or another, you will have to land. Okay, so it is better to make sure that when you take off, you will most likely have smooth conditions for a landing, whether it is a landing at the departure because something happened during takeoff or a landing at your alternate or the landing at your planned destination. Okay, it is not, it is important not to take unnecessary risks in aviation. It is a matter of safety. People might rush the captain or pressure him into leaving at scheduled time, but it is his responsibility to decide when that happens. Okay, every takeoff implies a landing. How do you implement that in life? In life, it is important to think about the consequences of your actions. Every time you make a decision, you have to think twice and make sure it is the right decision for you. Some decisions you make in your life will cost you financially, physically, and emotionally from the moment you make them, and some of them will cost you even if you stop and change your mind midway. Okay, so it is important for you to actually think about all the parameters that might affect your life before you take a decision. It is all very important for yourself and for your life and for your long-term achievements in the future. Okay, you have to weigh out the pros and cons of the decisions you make. Sometimes no is the answer. It is your life and you have to be willing to make decisions that others might not agree with in that moment, but that will be beneficial to you long-term. It's exactly the same as being a captain making a decision to take off or not, okay? You are the captain, your life is the aircraft, you control it. Number four, stay ahead of your aircraft at all times. A pilot must know what is coming next throughout his flight. He should not be surprised or taken aback during descent or at the beginning of an approach, for example. With autopilot on, for example, you should expect the mode reversals of his aircraft and you should expect what behavior the aircraft is going to be conveying at that moment in flight. So a pilot who is behind the aircraft while he's flying basically is prone to accidents. Okay, He has to be aware of the environment and of the aircraft. How do you implement that in life? Like I've said a lot of times in my previous videos, in life you have to be proactive. You cannot expect to achieve results or get things done if you procrastinate and, go just, and just go through the motions of living your life and just expecting things to happen. You need to practice, you need to plan, and you need to anticipate certain things to be efficient when the time comes. If you're a student pilot, for example, and you have a plan, first things first, you need to focus on the present moment, you need to plan for your next flight, you need to anticipate the questions that your instructor will be asking you during your next flight session, and if you're passing your IASAS, for example, or any type of ATPL exam, you will have to study for the test, anticipate what kind of questions they can ask you, and prepare using the internet or using whatever textbooks you have at the moment to allow yourself to train. Okay, there will always be surprises in life and things won't always go as you expect them to go. But if you stay on top of things and if you always react proactively, if you always act in a way to anticipate and be first in the things that you want to do, you will rarely be surprised and you will be ready for most opportunities that come your way. Number five, nothing flies without fuel. As an airline pilot engaged in commercial operations, it is important to know that fuel is important, okay? It is important to know that fuel is important, but also the balance between fuel and passengers. Let me explain. The goal as an airline pilot is to make money carrying as much payload as possible. Passengers, cargo, mail, etc. There needs to be a balance between how much payload there is to carry and how much fuel is in the tank of the aircraft for the operation, okay? The aircraft must not exceed the maximum allowable takeoff weight of the day before he leaves from point A to arrive to point B. Okay. Fuel is important because it allows the plane to fly from point A to point B and also includes that fuel which allows you to divert to an alternate airport in case of bad weather at destination or unforeseen events during the flight. Obviously, there would be no flight without fuel. If needed, payload can be unloaded from the aircraft to allow for extra fuel that would be needed necessary for the flight to be added inside of the tank, okay? However, in certain cases, carrying too much fuel for no reason, just to have extra fuel and feel safer, is actually a bad thing, and I'll explain to you why. It takes fuel 
to carry fuel because more fuel means more weight. So fuel consumption is increased. What I'm trying to say is this, balance is very important because losing money because you're carrying too much fuel is actually kind of absurd. Whereas you could be carrying more passengers and more payload to make more money for your airline. So there's moments where you will basically be limiting how much fuel you carry to just the mere minimum or just a little extra to go with it instead of having more fuel just so you can feel safe because you will be losing your resources and the airline's resources. You'll be paying for, for fuel and you will be consuming more. How does that apply to life? In life, you need energy as fuel to achieve your goals. It is important for you to work and it is also important for you to rest and get some sleep. If you do not sleep and rest properly, you will not have the energy to accomplish the tasks you have to do throughout the day. Rest is not only sleep. There's also social activities, going for a walk, or even watching a movie, for example. But just like I said in the aviation example before, you cannot be resting too much, just like you cannot be putting too much fuel inside of your aircraft. You need to have a balance to maximize your efficiency and your productivity. The aircraft is your body, the energy is your fuel, and the destination is your goal. Don't overdo it and burn yourself out, but at the, at the same time, on the other hand, do not relax too much and become lazy out of habit of just using your days to rest and relax. Balance is important. Nothing flies without fuel. None of your goals will be achieved without rest. So that is it for the five rules as an airline pilot that you can use to improve yourself. Let's go over them one more time to make sure that you've got them. Number one, always fly the aircraft first. Number two, aviate, navigate, communicate. Number three, takeoff is optional, landing is mandatory. Number four, always be ahead of your aircraft. And number five, nothing flies without fuel. I hope this video helped you and was of value to you. Thank you very much for watching my video once again. And if you have any more questions about this, or if you want me to explain one point specifically, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to check that out. Fly JV Army, fly JV Forever, fly JV Crew. Thank you for watching the video. I'm out. No sé lo que estoy buscando, pero guapa era.